Hey guys, Tivik here, and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. So, in the last episode, we started digging out a little bit for our dwarves down here. Uh, we also started digging for the mine. Well, actually, this is very close to. Oh, they are already dumping. That's good. Um, yeah, and we also got the first set of steel which means that we'll soon, very very soon, be able to do some serious smelting here. Very nice. I'm also telling my architect to work on that, and uh, Naros, you're working hard on your training there. That's good. Um, we have a crafts dwarf, do we? Did I not build one? I did. Um, he can stop for now because <laughs> I see that we have a lot there and even more there. But I want to set up a finished goods stockpile around here, but with a few extra settings. We only want the superior quality and higher. And that can take from this pile and use bins. That should move some over. Our town is up to 13 dwarves. And uh, I have a very squeaky dog for some reason. Uh, he's been out. I don't know what he wants. But we have a lot of iron in the mountain. There's a lot of iron in the mountain, actually. And uh, my architect is working there. And we will soon have a bridge. Very soon. Well, as soon as the mason gets his act together and uh, fixes that. Let's see. Naros, you are the militia commander, but you're also hmm, listed as a crossbowman in Dwarf Therapist, which I will show you in a moment. Why do you guys suspend that? There is no creature occupying that site. I think. No. Here comes the bridge. We have levers. Since this is the main hall, I'm going to put the lever we're gonna make a room, I think. Okay, so we ran out for that. But we managed to make a steel helm, some chain leggings. Um, but we need a bit more steel. Can I smelt? No. If I make two more hematite... Let's make that. Do we have any more coal? No, I don't think so. More migrants. That is awesome. Let's uh, see how many we get. Um, I'm going to bring over Dwarf Therapist here, and we'll read Dwarves. Wow, eight. I'm going to clear these into civilians, except for you. Uh, because, oh, not all of them. You. Because you can be a miner. I have another one now. Perfect. What do we have here? We have a smith. A clear such. Gonna make him smith. And uh, let's see. Profession wise, we'll keep a few civilians, but I definitely need to make a more. Um, a more. armor. <laughs> armored troops. I'm gonna have to make some more fighters. And we have a manager. Did I make anyone else a manager? No. Um, so you there, you will be noble. And I'm gonna let this run.
Okay, I'm going to have to cancel that one and build another wall from a basalt block that I have very close. Maybe that will work. There we go. Perfect. Um, that door that we made um, was a masterful door. And that one is a masterful door. Perfect. <laughs> now we have two masterful doors. Um, wow, that's a lot of people. Um, do we have anything else that needs to go here? Well, we do have a lamp. Some various stuff here. We're gonna get rid of the bunny. I'm sorry. Actually, well, let's take a look at the animals and go by race here. We only have a single what? There we go. We have a rabbit. So this one here has to go for butcher. We can't butcher that one, unfortunately. Profession. Adult. Child. Okay. Hmm. Trained hunter dog. Not butcher. Okay, let's uh, commit butcher that one, which is kind of fun because you can use dwarf therapist to set things such as butcher orders. Now, none of these new guys are actually going to be a good soldier. Uh, actually, you are. Assigned to squad the banded blockades. And make you two guys soldier. I want to have them at the same. Now these guys can train. I will see now if I can make some more. No. Actually, we should really start using these forges. This is all done now. We don't have someone to smooth the walls. Um, I need one to do that who is not a very good unit otherwise. You're a darn good spinner. You there. Could be a good mechanic, actually. So I'm gonna set, oops, not like that. You there. Mechanic. We're gonna need lots of these gears and stuff, so. Um, but you. Miller and Spinner. Mm, nurse could be good. Yeah. You there. You will all of a sudden be my stone detailer. Because stone detailing is something that a lot of units will have eventually. Did I set that? Yes. Sorry about the flickering there. Uh, I have 16 rooms and 21 dwarfs. That's not going to cut it. So let's uh, fix that, shall we? By another 16 oh, rooms here. Like so. And we also have a manager now. Who has the name of Unib. correct one. There we go. Needs an office. Here's the good thing with this. They don't really need a big or good office at all. So we can sign that to him. 
and assign that to him. Now they will be happy. Very nice. More hematites. That's awesome. And that is fixed. Now, if you carve fortifications and then immediately go smooth that wall. Uh, that's a trick to have them run fast away, but quite possible he won't make it. He didn't. So we now have one missing and there's only one thing I can do about this. We can claim his stuff and then we need to build a grave graveyard. I want the graveyard in this area so let's see to get to that we'll build a something like this and then do a thing like this this will be the graveyard and in direct relation actually should change places I will make this the prison two by two cells there will be cages in them because there will be a need for justice eventually and let's make that uh, a room like this and we can make another room like this. This will be the lawmaker's office later. Okay, derailed a bit. There we go. I can have two cages in each room there, by the way. Uh, once we get to that, which will eventually come, I can promise you that. Build this. That's unfortunate that we lost a dwarf. Kind of sucks. But we'll have to live with it. Um, we might as well just dig these areas out. And now we can build. Oh, yeah. Job. J for job, M for manager. Q for new order, bed, 16, rock door, 16, and since we can do it, cabinet in rock, uh, chest rock, cover, perfect, now the mason will work. We only have one mason, right? Yep, and he's not really doing anything else. He might do some hauling, but I'm fine with that. Um, you're a woodcutter. That's fine. We should really make a bigger wood pile out here. And this guy here now, bookkeeper here, since he has a place, we can set all counts to accurate, which will help us. Um, I still want to make pig iron. Why can't I make that? We have pig iron bars. Because we don't have flux stone, of course, we don't have flux stone. I had a bit of lag there. I wonder what that was. A 
Oh well. Um, magma smelter. How did I plan this again? Um, smelter on this side. Might as well have another one. And um, forge. What's that again? That's furnaces. No? I'm blind. Can someone please point me to the forge workshop? Magma forge. V. Uh, we need a magma safe anvil for that. Well, I think if we make... Oh, stop it. Interrupted by Kia Man. Looks like you guys get some practice then. Uh, where are they? Zoom to creature. Oh, they're flying. Cancel. But guard here. Hmm. Yeah, so this one... What did you just do? You stole a battle axe? A steel such! Okay, it's war and we now have one dwarf who's been missing for a week. So let's make a memorial for him. Prioritize that up by the doors. So, Naros, did you just lose your battle axe? No. Well, that's good. Why isn't anyone attacking them? Hmm. It has started raining. And what are you doing? You're going to sleep. Okay. I think that maybe they're not in the area now. Nope. I need crossbows. Oh well. Now that we have a slab, we can carve a memorial to Zan. And since we have this dug out, um, that's just a basalt slab, so let's not. Okay, now I'm getting a bit upset. They've just stolen our stuff. Look at that. All our good stuff stolen. <sighs> Annoying. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about it, although I shouldn't be running the game in the background. Um, we have a stone crafter who's fairly good, we have a bone crafter as well, who is also a miner. Um, 
I might set him to bone crafting because we can make him do a lot of that. How are we for drink? We can brew a bunch. Let's make eight. And some easy meals. We do have more than one farmer? No. Architects. What's I doing? Oh yeah, I was making uh, other objects in iron anvil. We'll make two. That I know we can do. Actually, only need to make one. Because we'll tear that one down and we'll destroy the wood furnace because we'll move that down into the area with the forges. Is that one done yet? Nope. We we'll want to give a memorial to him. We actually don't have one to do engraving. Um, I'll make my stone craft to do that. Where is he? There he is. It's not a good such, but that'll be fine. What? Oh dear. One moment, guys. Just wanted to check time there. The mountain titan Kekath Aurorus Ozol Bungek has come. A huge scaly nematode, square shell, moves deliberately. Its brown scales are blocky and close set, but where its poisonous bile. This could be fun. Where is he coming? Um, now would be a very good idea to build a wall real quick. And place some doors real quick. Where is it? Uh, it's coming here. Station you guys there. And I need to set up a burrow. Uh, let's look. Uh, burrow 1. Uh, let's uh, define this by naming it uh, indoors. Let's see. Painting. And we want it to be in that area. They can be in this area. Um, they can be in this area. Now I'm going to spend a little bit of time here drawing out the burrows. I'm going to do that off camera for you guys so you don't have to watch it because it's kind of boring and I want to make it look nice. So I'll be back shortly. Alright, we're back and uh, that thing is coming at us very quickly. Uh, the door is up but here he is. Okay, so that door won't be constructed. Well, Narus, it was nice knowing you, because I don't think you will survive that, I'm sorry. He's not even armed. Oh, Well, good luck. Let's see, the combat. He bled to death. Immediately. Narus, however... You're doing fine, I think. Where are you? I'm gonna do one step and check the logs as soon as we... Just stepping ahead here because I wanna see the combat. No wounds. How about him? He has some wounds. Let's see. Um, the soldier latches on firmly. Um, okay, well... 
Left foot is ripped away and remains in the Mountain Titan's grip. Ouch. The soldier attacks. Denting the thing. Oh no, you are wounded. Um, okay. Uh, Naros? I'm sorry. You're dead. Yeah. Okay, now let's uh, do what we should be doing. We're going to create some squads. And Create a uh, metal armor. And, uh, oh. Do what dwarves should be doing. Gang up and kill that creature. Naros has been found. Kib has been found dead. Where is that creature? Can we even wound that thing? Have we even wounded that thing? Yes, we... Oh! There we go, another one bled to death. Oh, brother, this is going to be rough. Where is that thing? Well, he is wounded. How many units do we still have here? Seven. Uninvited guest, yes, indeed. He is wounded, but not a lot. The body is dented and bruised, and the mouth is dented and it's bruised. The brain is bruised as well. Well, take it out. No. Well. Where is it? Okay. He's the only one who can actually do something. Okay. This fort has fallen, guys. What are you doing? And the outpost liaison has arrived. Well, that's in time for fun. I don't think we'll be getting migrants this year. No. A diplomat has left unhappy. And...
the population is down to 1. Um, where are you? You are there, you are wounded. Did we kill it? No. Yes, we did! Where? Yeah, the merchants killed it, but our fort is all but dead here. And we had such a good start, guys. Oh well, I suppose you learned something. Every time you fail, and you there, you should probably just bleed out. Athol, I'm all to seem the last survivor of the Titan attack. Dragging yourself towards the fort. Missing a leg. The merchants arrive and set up here. But there won't be any traders. I wonder, have they not noticed the amount of dead bodies all over town? In the fields of slaughter. We fought bravely. If we just had a bit of luck. And these had arrived a bit earlier. Because look at their. I can't see what skills they have, unfortunately. But yeah. He's now faint, and he's gone. So that, everyone, means we will abandon this fortress. Yes. Ending game. That's the end of Glowing Crafts. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.